I never even heard of Jay Ward before. I had never heard of Bill Scott, and apparently Bill Scott had been writing a lot of things for Warner Brothers, which I didn't know because the writers are never really uh, on the set, not very often. And um, so I got a call from my agent, and I had never seen Crusader Rabbit. I hadn't even heard of Crusader Rabbit. He said, do you know a fellow named Jay Warden? I said, no. He said, well, he wants to take you to lunch. So I met him and Bill at a at a the tail of the cock. It's no longer there on La Cienega Boulevard. And they were having martinis. And they said, well, have a martini. And I said, well, you know, I, I don't drink at lunch. And they said, oh, come on, we're having a drink. So I said, okay. And on the first drink, they told me they had an idea of a moose and a squirrel. And I thought, gee, that's a real cockeyed idea, you know. But after the second martini, I thought it was great. So uh, in about... A week later, we did, we did the uh, pilot. And then it was a year and a half, at least a year and a half. My agent called me and said, remember that guy who did the, uh, the um, pilot with you about a moose and squirrel? I said, yeah. He said, well, they're ready to go. Didn't know about it. Apparently, they had had trouble raising money and, and finding out how to do the whole thing, you know. We went into the studio, and, and uh, Jay would say, well, you know, the All-American Boy, and did Natasha. And, and Bill Scott, who was the head writer, said, well, who's going to... And Paul Fries was there, who's going to do Boris. And Bill said, well, who's going to do Bullwinkle? And Jay said, well, I thought you were, because he would read the scripts to Jay, and he would use this uh, Bullwinkle voice, you know which Red Skelton thought he impersonated because he was the mean little kid or something. <laughs> but uh, we did the pilot, and it sounded very funny, and it was funny. And as a result, uh, ABC bought it, and we went on the air in November, I believe, of uh, 1959. And it went from ABC from 59 to 61, on ABC in 61 to 64 on NBC. Then it went into reruns. The voices that I was asked to do, they would tell me, uh, is, is she nice or is she spiteful or is she a nasty little kid or, or a sweet little kid or how old? And so you get an idea uh, when they tell you what they want. So you have to think off the top of your head and think fast. I know when uh, I was called to do Rocky and Natasha on the Bullwinkle show. Um, I didn't know what, I, I didn't see any model sheet of Rocky or Natasha. And I said to Jay, well, how do you want Rocky to sound? He said, just an all-American boy, you know. So I made him an all-American squirrel. And uh, I said, well, what, what do I do about Natasha? And he said, well, they, she and Boris come from Pottsylvania. They don't come from Russia, so don't make her Russian, real Russian, you know. Make her sort of continental. So that's what I did. And uh, she turned out fine. And now uh, uh, Rene Russo is doing Natasha live action, and she studied, and she's doing my voice very, very nicely.